Recruiting Kecleon in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is the single most challenging thing to do in the entire Pokemon universe. There is nothing more difficult than recruiting Kecleon. In fact, you start with a negative 49.5% chance of doing so. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is a spin-off game where you play as a Pokemon and can recruit other Pokemon to your team by defeating them, similar to how you catch Pokemon in the main series game. Different Pokemon have different recruitment rates. Kecleon is the manager of the store in the game, and if you try to steal an item without paying for it, you have to fight Kecleon, the strongest Pokemon in the game. This is a game design to make sure that you don't steal. Kecleon is many magnitudes stronger than any legendary Pokemon you can fight. Almost everyone has had that childhood moment where you try to see what happens if you steal an item, and when the music changes, you realize you're f***ed. Today, we're not only going to steal an item from Kecleon, we're going to defeat him, and then we're going to convince him to join our team. And we're going to do it with our secret weapon, Jumpluff. Jumpluff is the key to defeating Pokemon's strongest enemy. But first, you should check out this new platform that I'm excited about. Yahaha Studios is a brand new user-generated content creation platform for a 3D multiplayer interactive experience. In other words, you can create and publish anything that you can dream of. You don't need to know how to code, and you can use the built-in components and smart assets to make whatever you want. Literally anyone can make something cool. In fact, everything you're looking at right now was made with Yahaha. There are millions of ready-to-use 3D assets that are stored in the cloud that can be used instantly. The only limitation is your imagination. It's really simple, and when you finish your project, you can easily publish to the Yahaha cross-platform app where other players can discover your work and join to play. You can build something truly unique that reaches tons of people. It's really interesting and I encourage you to check it out, but it's still in early access. By using my link down below, you can join Yahaha's early access program now and for free too. Kecleon is devastating in so many different ways. For one, Kecleon is a level 90 Pokemon with literally maxed out stats making it statistically one of the strongest Pokemon in any Pokemon game. But it's so much more than just the level. In Mystery Dungeon, when you steal an item, Kecleon starts infinitely spawning, so you're not just fighting one, you're fighting many at one time. That means in theory you could be surrounded by 8 Kecleons all attacking you at the same time. But it gets worse. Kecleon has a move Fury Swipes. In regular games, this is not a big deal, but in Mystery Dungeon, multi-hit moves are overpowered. In Mystery Dungeon, every individual hit has a power of a full attack, so it's not 2 to 5 weak hits, it's 2 to 5 strong hits. On top of all of that, all Kecleons in the game have double speed. In Mystery Dungeon, that doesn't mean Kecleon attacks first, it means it attacks twice. Finally, if you're playing in the Gen 4 Mystery Dungeon, Kecleons have Shadow Sneak, which is a 2 range move that can hit from behind other Kecleon. Most other moves require you to be next to the target. If you do the math, that means you can get attacked 96 times in one turn from the strongest Pokemon in the game. And I'm still not even done yet. All items that let you escape, like the Escape Orb, get deactivated after you try to steal from a Kecleon. They don't work anymore. All stat boosting items fail too. It's very clear you are not supposed to steal anything in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Stealing is bad and the game makes sure you understand that. But now we get to the juicy part. Can you actually beat Kecleon? To recruit any Pokemon, you simply have to defeat it, and there's a percentage chance it joins your team. That chance depends on the Pokemon's species and other modifiers you may have. Kecleon's natural recruitment rate is negative 49.5%, so how do you overcome that? Recruitment rate is partially based on level, and at level 100, you have a 24.5% boost to recruitment. If you find the Golden Mask, one of the rarest and most difficult items to obtain in the game, you get a 20.1% boost to recruitment. In fact, getting the mask itself is worthy of its own video, where you have to beat one of the most challenging maps in the game called Zero Isle North. Finally, if you have a special IQ skill called Fast Friends, you get an extra 5%. Not so coincidentally, if you add that all up, your recruitment rate maxes out at exactly 49.6%, giving Kecleon a 0.1% to join your team if you beat it. This is very clearly intentional, probably an easter egg for anyone crazy enough to attempt it, 
and you can manufacture the tiniest of chances of catching Kecleon if you've done every other task and acquired some of the rarest items in the Mystery Dungeon universe. And here we are ready to take on the challenge and our strategy is going to be to use Jump Luff. Everything we do now has to be perfectly calculated to give us a 0.1% chance to catch Kecleon. The first reason we pick Jump Luff is its IQ group. Every Pokemon species belongs to a different IQ group, and based on the group they can learn different skills. Jump Luff's IQ group lets it learn the skill Fast Friends, which we mentioned earlier. Then we level it up to level 100, which is another requirement to reach the 49.6%. We pick Jump Luff on our team and pair it with a Pokemon that knows Acupressure, Scorapy. We eat a Violent Seed to maximize our attack and special attack, and then keep using Acupressure, which can work on teammates. We keep using Acupressure until we boost Jump Luff all the way to maximum in every single step. We truly need everything we can get if we want to take on Kecleon. Then we activate the Sunny Orb to set up Sun. This is important, that way we trigger Chlorophyll on Jump Luff to attack twice per turn while only using one Power Point. We now somewhat level the playing field versus a double speed Kecleon. Then we use an item called the Mobile Orb. The Mobile Orb lets you walk through walls and if you are in a wall you cannot be attacked. But it comes at a hefty price. Mystery Dungeon has a mechanic called Hunger measured by your belly. If your belly reaches zero, your health starts dropping every turn. Using the Mobile Orb is prohibitively expensive on your belly, and if you use it, your belly reaches zero extremely quickly and you start losing HP every turn. This is by design though, and it makes sense. It's meant to balance out the overpowered nature of being able to walk through walls. You can only walk a few steps through walls before you get hungry. This is where Jump Luff comes in. It has the moves Mega Drain and Giga Drain that heals the HP that you're losing every single turn from being in a wall. Finally, Jump Luff also gets the move Wide Slash, which lets you attack many Pokemon at once. This is good for the infinite form of Kecleon. By camping out inside a wall and alternating between Wide Slash and Mega Drain, Jump Luff can slowly knock out the infinite waves of Kecleon. As long as you have max elixirs, you can keep it going, and it may take even hours before the 0.1% triggers, but once it does, with the perfect storm known as Jump Luff, you can officially recruit Kecleon, the strongest Pokemon in the universe. The Kecleon you get comes at level 42, but its stats are actually maxed out. Just look at its HP compared to level 100 Jump Luff. If you level it up, you wouldn't actually gain any stat points. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. We're almost at 100k subscribers, and let me know what Pokemon challenge you want to see me do next.